and welcome to Parkway Montessori. Um, this morning we had a great day and afterwards my mom, who's my classroom assistant, her name is Bev, she and I were talking about how the kids really love the Continent song and um, one of my kids doesn't seem to be a big singer but um, he even sings the Continent song so I wanted to share the Continent song with you um, at home. You may enjoy it, your child may enjoy it and it's also a great teaching tool. Um, but there's a few different um, steps that come before that. So I wanted to show you all the different steps that we would do leading up to it, to the Continent Song. You'll notice the shelves are a little empty and that's because it's only our second week of school. And so um, for the new children, we have a rule in our classes that, um, um, in every Montessori class, that you wait until you've had a lesson to take something and to use it. And so it's a little too tempting if the shelves are full in the first few weeks. So we really limit the amount of things. But I've gotten a couple things to show you. I'll start here with what we call the rough and smooth boards. Now, um, I know this seems to have nothing to do with continents, but I'll tell you. Usually I do this at a table with a child, of course, but this could start with a very young child, about um, two and a half, and we would just sit down with them and we would feel this. And then we'd invite them to feel it, and as they feel it, we'd say, rough, rough. And then we'd go over here and we'd do the same thing, but as they're feeling this, we say, smooth, smooth. And then we ask them to point to rough, point to smooth. We might move this around a little bit and show them. We move on to others and continue to practice, you know, rough, smooth, until they understand the concept. This is sandpaper and this is just a smooth piece. After they've had experience with the rough and smooth boards, at a later date, this would not necessarily be the same day, I would take out our sandpaper globe now these can be ordered from any Montessori supplier. Um, a lot of times I use Montessori Outlet or um, there's another one I believe it's called Kid Advance or A Plus. I can't remember, but you can email me if you have a question about it. Um, and we so we would take this out and we would say, you see this? This is called a globe, and it's a globe of the Earth where we live. If we could take a spaceship up into outer space very high and look down, this is what the place where we live would look like. This is what the earth would look like. So we'd explain that and then we'd say, do you feel these rough parts? This is land. Here's land. This is land. Can you find some land? And they'd find it. Then we'd say the smooth parts are water. And we would do the same sort of thing with water. So if they grasp this concept, we'd play the game again, asking them to point out land and water. And next we'd move on to the color globe. We would say, you know, this one is just like the other one, except it's very colorful. You see these parts that are land? They now have colors, and the land is called continent. So this is a continent, and this is a continent, and this is a continent. Do you see more continents? And we can yeah. even look down here. Oh, there's one down here. There's a continent. So we just kind of talk to them about it and we talk about the water is ocean. And we'd ask them to point out continent and ocean just like we did with land and water before. And of course it always depends on the child's own pace, um, how quickly it'll move forward. So then, um, as, if the child's grasping those concepts, you can come over here. These are our rugs. And one of the first things we learn in the Montessori classroom um, are basic things. For instance, how we walk in the classroom, how we um, pull a chair out very carefully. And we try to sit it down silently, and this is how we put it back. So in the same manner we would have presented in the first few days how to roll and unroll a rug very neatly. I'm going to do it faster just for the video. So, we would say, well, you know what? Remember our colorful globe? If we could take that and we could flatten it out so we could look at it like a picture, it would look something like this.
This is a puzzle map of the world. And we'd compare, you know, the similarities. Can you find, oh, here this is here. I wonder if you can find this continent on the map. So we'd do that. And um, I would go through and I would show them how we use the puzzle. I wouldn't usually hold it up. I'm just doing that for the video. But I would demonstrate how to take the pieces out carefully. And we could do another game where we say, this is North America. And I would do two others and just say, mm, point to North America. Oh, put Europe here. Put, you know, Africa here. And we would play the game to help them remember. Or, you know, depending how young they are, if you present it first, you might just present it um, first just the puzzle aspect without the names. But when you're ready to do the names, you can do it like that. And then, are you ready for the continent song? This is what they love. And last year when I taught, the kids also loved it then. I had one child who was very tired, but he would wake up to sing this song. It was amazing. And I sang it when I was little at the Montessori school. But it goes like this. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Oceania. Don't forget Antarctica. Tell me the continents, tell me the continents, tell me if you can. And I've had children ask to sing this five times in a row. They love it. They do. And again, we say Oceania. I was instructed in my training to refer to this as Oceania now. Evidently that's politically correct instead of Australia. So um, I googled it. That seemed to be um, the up-and-coming term since it also includes New Zealand and um, a few other countries that are escaping my mind right now. Um, but anyway, so that's the song. I hope you'll try it with your kids and they'll love it. And then we also have other puzzle maps that, like we'll have a puzzle map just for North America. And so we can talk about um, the countries there. And actually, if you know a song or if you want to make a song for the countries in another continent, that would I would love to hear it because the kids ask me to sing the songs for the continents. Um, for each individual continent to tell them the countries, and I don't have one, but I would love one. Um, and then, so anyway, when they want to get out and know the names of the countries, then I say, well, first you need to know the name of a continent. And that usually they start thinking, I have someone do we want to sing the song again, and they, they do it, and then they can remember the names of each one. Hopefully, you and your kids or students will enjoy this song too.